Welcome to the channel. This is Reliable Rudy. In this video, we're going to look back at something I'd mentioned in my Apple charting series. And we're going to see what's transpired since we made those videos and uh, look at the price action of Apple a little bit. But before we do any of that, I'm not a licensed financial advisor. Everything in this video contains only my opinion and is for entertainment purposes only. I have no individual holding in Apple. I do have it in my index funds, so that is a little bit of a tie to the stock, but nonetheless, I have nothing to gain, nothing to lose, simply stating my opinion. So, what I'm very focused on with Apple is, in this video that I'm going to show you guys, I identify this as a left leg, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave structure with a higher low, set a double bottom, we get an extended right leg, so we build our neckline, we get our right bottom, and we get an extended right leg. Now I'm looking for the price to back test the neckline. We do get a back test of the neckline right here, but inside of my right bottom we have another left leg, neckline, double bottom, extended right leg. So these were two very potential areas where you could have been had neckline buyers. And seeing how that corresponded, very close to getting to that second one, and we have a direct wick through that first neckline. So um so how I would have played this out for a trade before we go look at the video, I'll get you guys all caught up. If I was setting a stop loss, I'd set it below this one because you have a trap right here. This could be potentially a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave structure where you get a crack, come down and fill this gap down here at 116. But it kind of traps the, the bears here. And then we, we turn bullish and we actually do get a nice extended right leg. And we end up back testing the neckline later on. But nonetheless, if I was setting this trade up, right here we have a roughly a $13 risk reward. So if I was setting the trade up, I want to put this at 148 And then that's our one-to-one -one risk reward. And now 161 And now 174 is my true three to one risk reward now what was very interesting is how this gap fill right here met up perfectly with my three to one risk reward for this trade almost perfectly and you can see we do wick through this so now we're going to go back and we're going to watch something that i had mentioned for a potential possibility for how this trade could could transpire right here so i'm going to put this on full screen now it's not me talking this is me talking in this video at my one to one risk reward so here you get triggered in on the trade you can see we put a double top into our one to one risk reward you have more opportunity to buy it now our current price is sitting at our two to one risk reward isn't that strange now looking at today's candle from the price action today this is not a bullish looking candle this candle is telling me okay we're going to come down fill this gap probably meet in with this trend line that we've had set in multiple videos. Um, How is the price going to act from there? Well, you have potential double top that you're going to have to monitor, but if you can get through this, it's potential that we can get this 3 to 1 risk reward. Now, what do I also see at my 3 to 1 risk reward? We're going to zoom in on it. This line right here that I'm hovering over is my 3 to 1 risk reward. I can see we have a gap fill no more than 90 cents away from where I had my four to one or my three to one risk reward marked. So, if we can find a way to get over this 702 retracement and this trend line holds, the next place on my chart that I'm really focused on Apple's price is right at that $175 gap because that's also meeting in. There you have it, guys. There you have it. That is one of the options that I had corresponded and I post this video on August 2nd. Now, in some reevaluation, this is this is the area that we were talking about right here at that point in time on August 2nd. You can see you got your trend line right here. Now this is a nice bull flag. Now if you would imagine this without the gap fill full green candle, you have a lot of good buying in right here. Now the next now this is a day chart, so with any bull flag, I'm focused on the next three days. One, two, three three you get the gap up on the third day and your goal is to take out this previous high now it just so happens that this previous high is also meeting in at a 702 you see that now i had stated if you can get on top of that 702 it's gonna it, it we're still on an uptrend it's gonna go attempt to fill this gap and it just so happens that this gap meets up at my three to one risk reward and you wick right through that gap and ultimately, the trend line ends up failing. We set a close right at it 
uh, like two days following after we fill that gap set a close gap down below it and now it's been a little bit bloody now uh, it, is there reasons for that is there news related stuff to that i don't know all i know is that this gap got filled at the end of my three to one risk reward of my neckline trade and this is the selling that has transpired since then and it just so happens that the gap fill i was talking about we're gonna fan out we're gonna try and attempt to fill this gap well that gap is filled now you do get initial buying that we set a close right at that gap this we set a green candle could have been taken as bullish but now we're get, now we don't have gap fill buyers right there next thing on my chart we got a gap down here at 151 okay if apple's price is going to continue to fall what does that mean for our major u.s indexes apple is in the s p the dow and the nasdaq does that mean that those those indexes are going to fall i don't know but nonetheless, this was a clear opportunity to cut the stock. Right at the gap fill, at the end of a 3 to 1 risk reward. And this is what's transpired. So I thought that was very interesting that I, I had pretty much stated exactly where Apple was going to top short term right here. And it, it, it wasn't very hard. It was just adding in all the evidence that I see with Apple stock, the valuation, the charting up to this point, the current uh, swing trade that was taking place with the back test of the neckline. I thought it was all very, uh, very interesting and how I would pretty much called the top for Apple. This is why you uh, had... Reliable Rudy channel, 43 subscribers, calling the top for Apple. Can you guys, you guys get the point that I'm trying to make? But that is going to complete the video. I hope you guys enjoy the content. I'll make sure I put a card for, uh, for that Apple charting video, so maybe you can go back and watch the whole thing. I, I'm not as efficient of a talker in those earlier videos, but nonetheless, there is still very good information in those videos. But we hope to see you on the next video where we're going over Coca-Cola for a new viewer request. And yeah, we'll go from there. So see you guys on the next one.